Dude, I am not kidding you. Like, first cast. Fishing Freaks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are gonna do some dangling today. It is a hot, hot Texas day. Again, 100 degrees plus. To be honest with you, I'm kinda waiting it out until uh, the evening comes around, and then I'm gonna do some dangling. And today's dangle is brought to you by our partners at Mystery Tackle Box. So I thought what I would do before I get out on the water is actually go through some of the stuff in the box. I already took a peek, a little sniff, and there's some deliciousness in here. What I'm about to show you in here is reason enough to sign up for the Mystery Tackle Box subscription. If you've never signed up for these things, first time visiting this channel, first time hearing about it, you can get your boxes for as low as five bucks. All this stuff in here, all these tackly things that they put in these boxes for five bucks sent to your doorstep if you sign up using the promo code MONDO. That's down below. And everything's linked down below. It's real easy. You just go down there, you give it a click, it takes you right to the deal, you're saving money. But let me show you why this is a good deal. First of all, what bam? The Mike Buka bullshit. This is a really nice swim bit right here, y'all. Uh, Mike Buka, he partnered with uh, Ketchco, Mr. Tackle Box team, and they're putting these in the boxes now. They've been selling great just by themselves, but they're offering it to you in one of these boxes. And if you don't know who Mike Buka is, I'll leave a link down below for a video uh, that basically shows his passion for what he does. Always respect the, the danglers that uh, are really passionate about the craft. But anyway, this, this bait is going on. I've been wanting to fish this thing. Uh, people come into our store at the Guggen HQ, uh, buy them all the time. They say how much they, they work and they've done really well for them. But this is, this is a delectable treat. Look at that cool custom color as well. And look at the, look at the, the fin. It's, it's some sort of hair. It's like a brush. So real natural. That thing's gonna be just the perfect size to throw just about anywhere. Pond, lake, gigantic body of water, who knows. Okay, so we have that. That is definitely going on. I've just been wanting to mess around with one of those. They didn't send me any. I was like, hey, can I get my hands on some? They're like, no, you gotta wait till your box is out. So, okay, now, now it's here. Another hard bait in the mix, which is, I, I love this color. Uh, Booyah Hard Knocker. Lipless crankbait so you can fish at any depth, but it's, it's got a, just a cool bone color, which I, al I always like bone color, especially in top waters, uh, crankbaits and such. It's got a little cracked uh, red there at the bottom. Let's get a little close-up shot of that. That looks like an old summer shad, just ready to be eaten. The circle of life. Okay, so right off the bat, two really nice hard baits. And you got stuff on, you know, Carl Von Dibble. He, he writes things. I didn't even know he could write. But he writes things and he puts puts them in here if you want some tips and such like that. We got some uh, Big Bite. Looks like uh, this is a drop shot bait right here. So you're getting your you're getting your August September you know junk fishing tough fishing situation in here. Looks like a little paddle tail uh, sort of minnow. Uh, Smallie Smasher. Well. Where I just came from, Smallies would probably smash that thing. There's also another stick bait in here from Big Bite Baits, which is like kind of like an orange color. That's great for suspending under, you know, the docks. You can fish it on Shaky Head, Texas Rig. There's all sorts of. I mean, who hasn't fished a five-inch stick bait before? And then we're just loaded with other options here. So here's a, a Riot's bait, a Riot Baits. This is a, like a beaver style bait. Little compact creature. So you could use that for like a little Texas rig and actually I think it'd make a good little jig trailer. And then we have actual jig trailers from Excite Baits. This is the uh, Raptor Tail Chunk. So that is designed for putting on the back of a jig and being a flapper, a flapper style. You know we have to have a jig in there to fall that up. We don't, but they did, they included one. Uh, this is a Star Jigs. This is a very unique color right here. I gotta say, unique color. It's got a, uh, this looks like really round rubber. Most of the skirts you see are silicone. This one looks rubbery, which would be fantastic for night fishing. That's gonna leave some impressions right there. 
Oh, one more thing. We have some uh, Harmony Tackle th three aught offset worm hooks in here as well. So they give you the worm hooks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things inside of here. One of the baits is fourteen ninety nine. You can guess what that one is. I mean, there's tons of value in that in that box right there. Just go sign up. Go visit the link down below. Mondo's. Uh, Get hooked up. Get get hooked up with the Pro Box. Move it on up if you if you're into you know a little higher end bass tackle. There's eight things inside of here, value packed. I'm going to pair these things up, get these things prepared for the water. I'm going to do it while I'm in here, including some stuff that's not in the box. That some new things that I'm also wanting to try. It's kind of like an experiment experimentation day. I'm always experimenting. Never stop learning. Well, bam. Get all these preparations made before I get out onto the scorching earth and water and singe my face to catch these bass. We are ready to dangle. So let's get out to the water. And on our way, I want to remind you guys that we have an app now at Guggen Squad. Pulls up, let her eat. You ever as a YouTuber get to the boat ramp, you're like, uh, what am I missing? There's something missing here, I got. Oh yeah, it's my chesty. That's okay though. Um, I've only got about an hour and a half before the sun really starts going down. What I was planning on doing uh, to begin with was to fish the late, late evening and then get up tomorrow morning and fish as well. Basically just fish the key hours when the bass should be biting. So you're just gonna kind of stay with me here in selfie mode as I uh, go about the dangle. Spotted bass, sir. Oh. Spotted bass. Beautiful little guy. Also called Kentucky bass. He was just swimming with it. Let's go ahead and smash the like button. I'm still gonna sniff it. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, okay, so that drop shot lasted, uh, yeah, about, about 0.5 seconds. I I'm just not a big drop shotter. When I broke it off, I was like, yeah, no. Just right now, a lot of the fish are just deep with this sun penetrating the water, making it about, oh, fish just jumped over there. Uh, 91 degree water temps. You don't believe me? Well, bam. I want to run around and see if I can find some water that um, I can play around with that bull shed. There was a spot I fished the other day that, that had some fish that were busting shad and I couldn't get them to bite anything. I was throwing crankbaits, I was throwing little you know, worms, weightless baits, things like that. Wouldn't bite it. So I may go over there and see if they're still running around. Popping the surface. Let's go see. No shirt, no chesty. No problems. Hey, it's me again with another Guggen update. Well. I went to make a cast with the bull shad and the bull shad went a long ways uh, and then landed in the water and then I realized it was not attached to my line. So I guess I tied a bad knot. It straight up just went into the ocean. Fortunately, that was the only one I had. So I guess I'm gonna have to just pick one up at the store in the morning. It's nice, it's nice owning a tackle store that carries those. But I should, I should definitely have more than one.
might be a good fish. Oh, Margie. my swim bait, but I redeemed myself on a drop shot. Can you believe it, folks? Oh, God. I tried to boat flip him. What am I doing? Anyways. That little craw, creature bait, I put that on that drop shot. He ate it. There were small mouth here, but they crush it, but I'm going to try to get one more. There's a few more down there on the electronics. I've got the farmer's tan. Oh, there's some brush. Time to shake it. And a hunt. I had me one last little hurrah on that drop shot. It's time to switch it up though, y'all. I gotta take it in, it's getting dark. I'll see you out in the water in the morning. Chick-fil-A, flourishing in the wee hours. Oh yeah. We're ready to go. I got some egg white grills. About to meet up with our good friend, Lunkers TV. One of our favorite pastimes is wake up extremely early, get some Chick-fil-A, and then go out to the lake. So we're gonna try that morning bite that I was talking about. Um, I was gonna see if Rob could bring me a bull shad. Got a size. Cold beers. Man, what, really? <laughs> no. Oh, oh man, got me excited. <laughs> Y'all check out Rob's new, uh, have you showed him this thing yet? No, you can't. Oh, this is uh, his truck shrank, basically. It shrank by about four feet and thousand pounds. That's, that's an elk getter and a mountain tamer, if you will. We are literally like a week or two away from uh, exploring the mountains for the mysterious protein they call elk. <laughs> Gonna start out spooling one of Rob's reels up left-handed with a with a little 12-pound Dugan Squad fluoro here, and there we're floating. God, he took off with it. Oh, it's a nice one. That's <laughs> a nice one, dude. I am not kidding you. Like first cast. That's good. Hey, there's my camera. Yeah, excuse me. You caught a fish? Dude, I am not kidding you. That's my first cast with oh, that the new. prototype. That's pretty awesome. God, that is a beat up summer bass right there. <laughs> that is one of the nastiest ever. He looks like he's had better Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back up a hair. Yeah, dude, that's two bites in a row. First fish of the day, really in bad shape. It's just a nasty summer bass. Water's 87 degrees. I'm just gonna let it go right off the bat. That is, that's kind of how you want to start the day. I'm assuming. Mmm. Have yourself a good summer day. Light bass explosions on the point. Right next to the kayaker. Caught two fish so far. So actually a really, really neat situation. Uh, me and Rob both caught, we were the first two catch, we could say in history, first two catch on uh, two new baits that we're developing. So really awesome. Um, right now we're just kind of looking for something that piques our interest. They go crank a little bit. I've got that lipless crank tied on and I just kind of want to, the lipless crank would literally be textbook for right here uh, with these white bass blowing up. Oh, they're blowing up various locations. Yeah, I'm ripping, ripping traps, baby. You ever done this before? You ever ripped traps for gills? You have rip traps for gills? Hey, I don't think so. 
Let's him on the electric throw <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. So, um, ooh, almost exactly a year ago. Yeah, we did it. Me and Rob, we got some bluegills like this size out here, and we caught a legit almost 10 pounder um, just throwing these things, like chopped up, like for catfish. It's kind of cool. But we'll let this guy go today. You should get eaten by a monster huge fish, sir. Keep screwing up, it's gonna happen. It's not very calm, you know, peaceful. I've got a spot we need to check out. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, he broke me. Wilders. <laughs> broke my little drop shot like it was nothing. No, he didn't. Oh, he took my bait, totally. I just had a good bite there, guys. Lost it. I was on that, uh, a little creature. I'm still, the white bass lure, baby. I'm still hung up. Is it a white bass? It is a white bass. That's a good. It's <laughs> a freaking eater. Wow. It's <laughs> an eater. Oh, good. That's great. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're off to our left. To right, our right left. here. Right here. Right here. Oh, Rob caught a white bass. I can't even catch one, and I'm the champion. Literally, I'm wearing the shirt. That doesn't make sense. Just give it some gas. Hope for the Hope for the bass to bite ya. Fire up the yami and give her to have her down. Uh oh. oh. Got him. him. Got him, baby. That's a largey. That's a large largey? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 Got me one on that lip lass. Got him double, double tapped in the nose and the schnaz. Hey, second largey of the day. Flip the GoPro, give it a sniff. And release. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. Found him. Large mouth should be going in there too. Large mouth amongst the white basses here in the tires, as we just saw, they do live here. Oh, I don't know if I'm hitting cover right there or something's happening, but. So uh, these little gaps, these little gap pieces that have cable on them, that's where the largies are gonna sit. Might have to get me a jig out. Oh, got him, right in the gap. Right in the gapper. Right in the gap. That's, I think that's actually my second bite. Literally right there where the, oh, you can tell that's a, that's a tire bass. He's almost black. Looks like a small mouth. Easy there, bud. Okay, another fish on that lipless. I'm gonna let this fish go. See you, buddy. That was a weird release. Those were 100% largies. Oh my gosh, the other side of the tires. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh I got a largie. You got him? No. No? Look at the other side of those tires, though. Oh, I think I have a fish, dude. It's just incredibly small. You got, it's like me? Something bit, something bit me. Oh, it's a crappie. Come on. No, it's a drum. What is it? It's a white bass. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right. This is catfish. I, I can't, I couldn't leave without catching one of these. Oh, I did get one. I think I snagged him. You just can't resist. When you're marlin fishing and a school of tunas comes up, what are you gonna do? Just let the tuna swim away? I don't think so. Really? What do yeah, you it's a largey. It's a, a little, little guy. But right little in that little gap like that, there. Right? right in that little gap. There we go. Oh man, he's ready. Ready for it. So uh, so what I did right there, y'all, I was I was actually yo-yoing the lipless. So Rob just got one on uh, on the mini recon which is a little better size for the bait fish they're chasing but they're sitting in these little gaps and spots i mean it's just like dock fishing without a without poles on the bottom so it's kind of just yo-yoing it through the water column i've caught two that way now whoa okay the groove is happening now grooves are happening i've uh, been doing pretty good on that, that lipless crank um, and rob is throwing our little recon which I've had a really 
I've had a lot of success on this summer with just after the shad spawn, shad being real small, it just seems to be working. A lot of the, the white bass and the largemouth are eating those little tiny shad still. So uh, the key is just making really good casts, trying to get in these good spots, but this is exactly where I wanted to throw that, um, that swim bait, the bull shad. Like just because, you know, they probably see a lot of baits here, the little finicky. I just, I, maybe it was a little big for them, you know, but I just wanted to see. I think, I think they would eat it, but it'll have to be for another video, guys. But we're gonna fish our way down here, and um, there's a lot of fish right here, so we could, we could catch a few more, give it a solid dangle, and then it's gonna be 100 degrees very shortly, and then it's gonna be time to uh, go home and enjoy a frosty adult beverage and pay some bills being an adult it is time to hang it get that hanger out and hang this day up for as far as fishing actually we're two days deep two sessions deep into this an evening and a morning uh, I'm telling you what the bites done shut down I'm so glad that me and Rob got up early and capitalized on the opportunity and had some actual schooling bass like we could see largemouth coming up popping shad doing that thing early and you know just feels good get up early tackle the day tackle your tackle and tackle the bass just tackle everything hashtag tackle everything i'm gonna leave you right here ladies and gentlemen i want to thank our sponsor for today's video mystery tackle box sorry I'm trying to do a plug outro here bro <laughs> that was in the middle jeez of leaving a voicemail me and rob are gonna go again soon i think we we're just talking about it so if you guys want to tune in for the dangles, subscribe, hit the like button for just good old summertime awesomeness, good times, and I will see you very soon right here.